I can use the mirror command to create a mirrored copy of selected objects. Objects that are symmetrical can be uh, replicated by using a center line to draw the opposite half. I can activate the mirror command by choosing it from the tool palette or I can type it in the keyboard as mirror or its keyboard alias of MI. And my first operation is to select objects like with all of my modify tools. Um, I'll hit enter because I'm done selecting and it wants the first point of the mirror line. Now I could use existing geometry to create a mirror line. I can snap to the end point of this line and snap to the other end of that same line and then it asks me if I want to erase the source objects the default is no and so when I hit enter it duplicates or, or copies that in a mirror manner. Now my mirror line does not have to be an existing piece of geometry. I'm going to start my mirror command again and I'm going to mirror this same object and this time I'm going to make sure that my polar tracking and my object snap tracking on my status bar uh, drawing aids are turned on. And from the end point I'm going to project a line at zero degrees, that's two. And with my polar tracking I'm going to snap this angle at 270 degrees and then hit enter to accept and not erase my original object. So you can use uh, any geometric information to create a mirror line. Now sometimes I have objects that are symmetrical in more than one direction so I can use my mirror command. Once I've created a fourth of the object to select the objects and using my tracking I have an angle of zero so I'm going to click to create that line and accept that and then I can mirror this again choosing this endpoint and this endpoint for my mirror line and accept that. So using mirror can be a powerful strategy for drawing complex objects that have symmetry. I can use my uh, grip selection method for creating a mirror. Uh, first I select the objects, then I select one point or one grip I want to be on the mirror line and right click the mouse. I can choose mirror from the shortcut menu and I'm going to choose another point to be the other end of the mirror line and you'll notice that the command ends my object has been mirrored but I didn't create a copy of it. If you want to create a copy in the process when using grips first you select the objects and select the first grip that's going to be the first point on the mirror line. I'll choose mirror and copy is one of my options. You can see down here on the command line so I'm going to enter C right now and enter and then choose the other end of the mirror line and then end the command. With that I've created a, cop a mirrored copy of my object by while I'm using grips. When I'm mirroring objects text can be a particular problem because a mirror image of text becomes unreadable. We have a system variable called mirror text which will automatically correct text and by default it should be on. So if I choose mirror and I'm going to include the text in this selection set and then I'm going to select the mirror line and choose no and you notice that the text is mirrored and it's automatically corrected. This is a system variable that's set by typing from the keyboard M-I-R-R-T-E-X-T -E which is mirror text variable and it should be set by default to zero. If it's set to one, let's see the result. I'll choose my mirror command, window the same group, and use the same mirror line. Only this time you can see that my, my text has been uh, reversed. So 
mirror text by default should be set to zero.